First, yourself, Mr. Seth. And allow me to talk very simple language. Kurdish people say, they ask the flower, why you have that? The flower says, because my garden are good. Always Kurdish people have a gardener, have just killer. And now, because of you, we have very good gardener, nice gardener. Before many years, the, the birds of Kurdish people cannot fly in the sky of Europe. And now our flag is Kurdistan's flag here. Thank you very much for all of you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank Kurdish you. people be safe forever. So Thank you. Right. Um, gentlemen, strike tie. Uh, hold on, microphone coming. Two so mouths, please. Yeah, parts and London. I want to address the issue of how to improve the ignorance of people and the ind uh, indifference of the worldwide community in power about the murders and genocide and oppression which has, which has been committed and are being committed by countries and authorities that are in the favor of these uh, worldwide powers now, namely USA, French, uh, France, Britain, China, Russia. Uh, so you'll have to give us a question, please. Yes, yeah, so the question is what to do to prevent the w mass murder and war against the Kurds and Armenians, Assyrians, Arabs in Turkey? What, what about the p oppression and mass killing against the people in Tibet, in Mongolia? <laughs> and in Turkmenistan, in China. What about the war okay, ag okay, thank against you. Chechnya, got, got Dagestan, the point. Got the point. Georgia? That's fine, thank what you. So it's passed. So, sorry, that's it. Got, got the point. Uh, another man in another stripy tie just there in front. Yes, you. I wait for the microphone. Sorry, I'm a member of, representative of the Kurdistan Socialist Party of North Iraq. Uh, we've talked about recognition, genocide, uh, betrayal, uh, as, Tom, from the beginning of the state, uh, speech, he mentioned. Uh, now, betrayal is one of the main things, I think, like, uh, that should be mentioned, because the West at that time, I'll speak frank, the, the, all that weapons that Saddam had, and many years, it wasn't just Halabja, there was many, many weapons they had. Whoever supported those governments, they should be trialed as well, not just the businessman that was in Japan, Japan and the businessman that is in Germany, the people that actually supported these things was for, for their own relationship, for their own benefits, like they were helping Iraq because of the relationship, whether it's for oil or whatever. I think they should be stopped. They shouldn't help countries that are in the middle of a war like Iran and Iraq, and they gave that weapon to Iraq thinking that it's going to attack Iran. Instead, they attacked the Kurds, yeah? And now we start, we're having all of these things, our flags up there, but 20 years ago, nobody wanted to know us, yeah? Okay, thank you. And now... I'm sorry, I'm going to really have to cut everyone off. And in fact, I'm going to direct the uh, final uh, remarks to the speaker, uh, the member of the panel, who's actually come the furthest. Um, and that's uh, uh, yourself, Frederick. If you just want to make any comments on that and any concluding comments on this session. Thank you very, <coughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much. I can, I can be very, very short. I, I don't think, uh, to, to the lady, I, as, I, uh, as I understood you, 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 you said your biggest thanks to us. I think that it's, it's important to, to, to mention that uh, if we go to, to Bashur or Iraqi Kurdistan today, what we see now and compare it to 10 years ago, uh, to ten, 10 years ago, there were like one or two or three functioning hotels in Erbil. Now there are uh, so many more and so on. The infrastructure and, and, and more freedom and everything, everything like that. But that is not only because of the uh, US-led US intervention in two, uh, 2003, because that intervention would not have happened if it wasn't because of what Saddam Hussein did in the past and what Saddam Hussein did to the Kurds in the past was also because the Kurds were forced into a more or less forced marriage. Uh, with with the the uh, uh, central Arab powers in 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 Baghdad, so when your people started 
actually the uprising in the 1960s, in the early 1960s, you paved the ground for what you have managed to, 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 to create today. So it's, it's not, uh, you shall not thank us, you should thank former older generations in Kurdistan for that. I think. Thank you.